everybody, this is Big Jeff. Today's topic is Great White Hope. Mr. Trump. White Americans act like that he is about to save them. He is about to take them to the promised land. I don't know if you guys know that all the other presidents were white other than Mr. Obama. If that's the case, if Mr. Obama came in office, he would have went out of his way just for black people. But he didn't. He was trying to help everybody. Mr. Obama had come in office talking about how he was going to destroy this group of people and that group of people and I'm going to make the Mexicans build their own wall to keep them out of the United States, etc. It's all negativity. But you know, man is programmed for negativity. It's easiest for them to think negative, but to think something positive. I'm not saying all white people are bad. I'm just trying to explain to you guys that Mr. Mr. Trump has no special powers. He is just a man. And you guys are running scared. I've never seen nothing like it before. What are you scared of? You control everything. Your hand is in everything, good and bad. And you guys are acting like somebody's going to come just take this country and destroy this country. See, what you guys need to understand is that, first of all, white people hate all over the world for one reason or another. Justified and not justified. Truth and lies. But when people talk about destroying America, they're not talking about we're going to go to South Central LA and kill black folks, or we're going to go to East LA and kill Mexicans. They're talking about white folks. But it appears that you guys are incorporating us in all of this. I'll tell you something. If Mr. Trump becomes president, there's not a black person on the face of this earth that's going to get scared. See, because we've been doing bad for a long time. So it's nothing new to us. I was watching TV the other day and they were talking to some doctors. And they said white people were committing suicide on a level that never happened before. They were dying of diseases on a level that never happened before. They'll lose their wealth and commit suicide. See, we've been doing bad for a long time. See, the problem of it is, is that White folks are losing ground, but it's just life, and they've been breeded out. And there was a guy on TV, and he said, you know, he felt pretty happy because finally somebody was coming and speaking for white folks. I don't know if you know it, you dumbass, that all the other presidents but Mr. Obama were white. What you guys need to understand, white America, is who is on top can't stay on top forever. Sometimes you gotta put your pencil down. Especially when you're not doing the right thing or you're trying to do the right thing and somebody's trying to burn you. Mr. Obama's been trying to do the right thing, but everybody's trying to get him. I have a saying from Big Jeff. A hit dog will holler. And a dog need a bone more than once. You guys act like Mr. Trump is God. There's only one God, that's Jesus Christ. Mr. Trump wouldn't be here without the Lord. And nor would you people that's watching this video, whether you like it or you don't. But it just amazes me when I see them on TV and they just screaming and hollering like Mr. Trump came in and he is God. It is amazing. The Bible says to not put your faith in man because man will deceive you. You know, a lot of white folks put their faith in Hitler. I don't know if you know it or not, but Hitler lost the war. And he's either dead or he ran and hid somewhere until he died. It seems like the way it is nowadays that the people that's always getting shit on the way they make it. It's a subliminal message. It's white people always having the shit in their stick. But you control everything. You control the finances, the military, the gold, the, what, what, whatever gold is left. You guys control everything. And you're running scared from what? I don't get it. We have enough bombs in the United States to destroy the world. 
These people you guys talking about taking out ISIS and all these other people, you guys have the ability to do that. That's no big deal. The only hand can depend on life is the hand at the end of your wrist. Mr. Trump is not your savior. To be honest with you, no man is your savior. Put your faith in God and forget putting your faith in man. Because I'm going to tell you something, these people you believe in sometimes will take you straight to hell. Black folks, we've been re religious for a long time. We don't get caught up in the color like this. But it's sad when I see you guys on TV screaming and hollering like Mr. Trump is about to take you guys to heaven. Lord have mercy. Father forgive them because they do not know what the hell they're doing. This is just my opinion. And my opinion is like an asshole. Everybody have one. But you guys need Jesus. Because you might be finding somebody that's going to take you to the wrong place. There was a program showing that they compared Mr. Trump to Hitler. Now how much truth to that is, I don't know. But Mr. Hitler didn't win. He started the war, but he didn't end it. He paid the cost to be the boss. So whatever happens from this day on, if Mr. Trump becomes president, it's on you guys. Because, as I said before, Mr. Trump is just a man. He has no special powers. Thank you so much for listening. This is just my opinion. My opinion's like an asshole. Everybody got one. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.